I think a lot of companies will get ready for the privacy audit or the security audit or the attestation or the certification, whichever they're going for. And it becomes the Super Bowl. And everybody panics for about four weeks while the auditors are on site or preparing to do the audit. And then we all drop our controls or we don't inspect our controls or we stop evaluating if they are operating effectively. And I think that in today's world where companies are getting audited or certified multiple times a year, if not multiple times a month, I think that really leaning into how much of this data collection of control operation can we automate and how much of that can we test on an automated basis so that we actually understand as a CISO or as a chief compliance officer, our controls are actually operating as expected. We are maintaining the privacy that we say is in our policy, that these controls that we've designed are actually not being subverted and that they're being effective. And that really helps companies not only to achieve compliance objectives like an ISO certification, for example, or having a better SOC 2 report, but also it allows them to have that confidence when they talk to an insurance company, for example, to transfer some of their risk. They know their controls actually are operating, right? And they can have a, a data-informed conversation over, here's what we want to insure against rather than, well, we kind of sort of we don't really know how well our controls are operating. That's not a space that I think we can really live in at this point. No, I agree. I mean, the, the first thing that happens when you go get the cyber insurance and then you make a claim, the first thing they do is they walk in and say, okay, prove to me that you followed all of your uh, controls every single day that you've told us about. Because as part of going through that cyber insurance uh, proper, it's a cyber insurance uh, time frame to actually collect all the data and get your insurance policy. They ask you for all of your audits. They ask you for a lot of controls. They ask you for your policies, and then they ask you to prove that you follow them. So you've got, like Kane said, you know, you're you're panic mode four weeks, five weeks ahead of time. Okay, here you go. Here's proof. And then if you don't follow them every single day afterwards, the person the insurance comes to says, "Sorry, you didn't hey, you didn't follow your own policies." And and I've seen that actually happen, and it's unfortunate because people don't realize that. You know, they think, "Oh, this got an audit says you know a, a time a date you know a time stamp right." And so we're good here for the next year. And you really not. You really need to prove this every single month to internally. You just have to, because otherwise you're in trouble. 